So, I'm Sophia, I'm 15 years old and I'm from Ukraine. I moved to Canada eight months ago and I really like it. I really like Canada. I really like live here with my family. What was the journey from Ukraine to Canada like? Honestly, it was pretty hard because I had three flights from like, I didn't have like a straight flights on the plane. So it was, I was in Poland, then in Germany, then in Poland again, then I fly to Italy, from Italy to Portugal, and from Portugal to Canada. So it, it was kind of hard. What would you say is the most difficult part about coming to Canada? We decided really suddenly. I just didn't have a lot of time to say bye to my family who stay in, Can in Ukraine. Yeah, I think the hard part, the hardest part was like, just don't have a lot of time to say everyone bye. What's surprised you the most about being in Canada? So it's the most surprised me in Canada, those people, they are really friendly, I really like it. How people just can help you, even if they don't know you. What do you miss the most about the Ukraine? The most who I miss, and I think it's my family, my father and my grandparents. What, what has been the most helpful thing for your family to get settled into Portage? I think my uncle. He really helping to me, to my mom, to my father, to my family, you know. So yeah, and I'm really grateful to him. Yeah, he really helped us. How did your mother tell you you were coming to Canada? It was after three days when war was started in my country. I go to my parents' home. My mom was on the job, on the work, on her work. And so I said to my dad that I heard a really weird sound and it was like plan. And then he just turned on news. There were like tanks middle of the city. On the second day, I were in the like basement with my family and I heard a bombs. Like it was really, really far, but I can help them. So like, yeah, I think that's the worst thing, what, what I heard and what I saw. In Ukraine, when, when it became a war, every plan was cancelled because like it, it was dangerous. So like we just take a train and I remember when I was on the train, like they said to us that we supposed to turn off every lights in train because it's going to be dangerous because it was a midnight. And so like war it started and then after three days my mom said like we're supposed to leave our country because like it's really dangerous for us. And I was like, oh, I understand. Yeah, it's going to be hard, but I understand. Okay, but where we go and she was like to my brother to your uncle in Canada and I was like wow what has been some of your family's biggest challenges probably for my mom I think for my mom was the biggest challenge in Canada it's like just started life from zero because honestly she had a nice home a nice life in Ukraine and then just when we both started, it was like, like, it's dangerous. So like, when my mom moved to Kendall's Bing and with my father, she just, she said, she told me that she was about to just go back. But like, she decided to just, just try. Have you ever felt, or any of your family felt unwelcome since coming to Portage? No, I think my family and me didn't feel unwelcome. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Like in general, I'm not a mom, just... Are you going to school here? It's really different from Ukraine, and I really like it. I can choose, like, a course, what I want to learn. Like, because in Ukraine, I can't, I don't able to do this. Like, and I was shocked when kids, just my classmates, can just, like, sitting how they want, in doing class, doing class, and they just say what they want. That was, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like, 
we have so many rights to do in school because like in Ukraine sometimes we have really strict teachers. What are your I guess hopes and dreams for the future? So like in future I wanna I wanna stay in Canada and I wanna live in Canada. So I think I'm planning I'm planning to study like study in university university or college. Have you do you see a big difference between things in Canada versus the Ukraine? Yeah, yeah, I I see really a big difference between Ukrainian culture and Canadian culture. At first we we don't celebrate Christmas in Ukraine, we celebrate New Year, like but in Canada we celebrate Christmas more than New Year. So when you say you celebrate New Year's, what do you do for it? At first we just have all the foods and then when it's like midnight we just go outside to, to like look at fireworks and then after that we just go to home and like open our presents 